Welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of March 28th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Nicole Eredix. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today's Thursday, which means it's time to give in our obsessing. And today, we're obsessing about a very particular type of FOMO. That would be specifically LinkedIn FOMO, and not among old people like me who aren't entirely sure that you pronounce it FOMO, but (laughs) among college students. College students are getting on LinkedIn, and they're a little stressed about it. Mm -hmm. I think I got my, I think I made a LinkedIn profile for my son for reasons I know not. Maybe somebody at his college said, oh, you should do this, but he's he's never going to be in the kind of job, job you need LinkedIn for. And I think after a little while, I thought, what the hell am I doing? And I took it down. <laughs> Gotten a few connections of people he knew, but I've 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 linked with the young adult children of friends who are clearly trying to uh, rack up more right contacts, or else they would never have bothered with me. Mm-hmm. So, is this a thing your kids are dealing with? Well, it's funny because um, my daughter is a sophomore in college, and just the other day, my husband said, oh my gosh, look who just like wants to connect with me on LinkedIn. (laughs) So you got one up there. Yes. So she has just changed her major to a more business oriented major. Mm. So um, I guess she heard the, she got the message that she better get herself on LinkedIn. So wow. I don't know that she has FOMO yet or has any, you know, concerns about it, but, um, Mm -hmm. but yeah, she's apparently at least has a profile. She didn't ask Mm. to connect with me. (laughs) I'm on there. (laughs) The really bad thing is you try to connect with her and she doesn't accept your invitation. (laughs) Very upset. (laughs) Oh dear. Um, yeah. Tell her she's trying to build up her numbers. Connect with with uh, Nicole and I will. Right. Yeah. I'm here. Give her two <laughs> more. And two some more. Completely meaningless numbers to her total. <laughs> well, when you get to 500, you get some kind of a. <gasps> it's not like a blue check mark or something, but it's it's it it means something to get to 500. Wow. Apparently, well, so geez. that's now a goal for people. I could be at 500 if I accepted every offer from like a, uh, a a guy in India saying, I can help you get, you know, this many more podcast impressions. Right. I can help you get more tweets on Twitter. And I just say, no, but gosh, there's been at least 500 of them. Yeah. They yeah, are. <laughs> they're persistent. And I bet if you said yes to a few of them, way more would you. Yes. <laughs> That is true for sure. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, it is like another, it's just another sort of social media or online um, thing that kids are thinking about that, of course, we never did back in the day. And I don't think when LinkedIn was created, they were thinking in terms of something for college kids. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I guess you're trying to start your career. You want to be findable. Right. But yeah, yeah. both my kids have one. They've had it for a while, but um, they were kind of always tuned into that stuff. Yeah. You know, Um, there was some kid in the article stressing about his picture because, you know, they don't necessarily have nice studio photos. Yeah. Right, like a professional headshot yeah, kind of thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um and uh so are they all I guess selfies don't do it. You have to uh <laughs> no this a is a different kind of photo. I had a professional picture taken once. I just went to like there was a photo place at the mall and I just had them take a headshot of me. Yeah for professional purposes. I but that was back when they took the picture and they gave it to you in an envelope full of pieces of little paper. You know, with your image on it. It's funny. Now it's been a little bit, hasn't it, Terry? <laughs> it's been a little bit. <laughs> oh, 
much. Grandma Moro is just going to go get a cup of tea and rock while y'all talk about the things the kids do today. Those kids these days. Um, I'll have to ask my daughter. My son is probably a little bit beyond that, but mm-hmm. I'll have to ask my daughter what her, um, what the vibe is with LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> See if she can tell you exactly how many fall uh, is it followers? What do we call them? Connections. 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 She can tell you exactly yeah. how many connections she has. If so, then that's part of this mm-hmm. thing. That's a signal. I could not tell you yeah. how many I have, though oh, it gosh, would no. fall into the category of not many. <laughs> <laughs> but I need, to, I mean, I know I need to update mine. Like it's, I've sort of haven't, I haven't done much with it, especially because mm-hmm. I've been doing contract work for a long time and so Mm -hmm. it feels I don't know how to describe it you know Um, but then somebody who does something very similar to what I do um, you know same kind of work same place Um, so she connected with me on LinkedIn and I read hers I was like oh (laughs) she did it so good like I really like how she how Uh she did it and I'm like, how can I uh, just copy this? <laughs> mm, sometimes I see, you know, when they tell you some these companies have searched your profile oh, yeah. and it's like the company that I contract with. And I'm like, oh boy, do they, are they expecting that I should have, <laughs> you know, a better discussion of what I do for them or do they uh, are they checking to make sure I don't mention that like what, yeah. what, is, mm-hmm. what is the right thing to do here I don't know wow yeah. well now I'm intrigued by this style of of LinkedIn profile that you're talking about huh have yeah you, should I check yours out are we connected Catherine I don't know if we're even connected I don't know but I don't have I don't have I didn't I didn't steal this person's methodology so we wait till Catherine steals it nicole and then you and i can steal it from her yeah come on hurry up i need to spruce um, mine up a bit yeah it's an ongoing task on my on my artful agenda to do list is update linkedin profile yeah. i just keep letting it roll over from day to yes. day to day yeah i have those also yeah. but how 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 can kids college kids enjoy being on this service if their mothers are also on doesn't that make it no longer of interest well i don't know that's something that they enjoy but that's something that they Mm -hmm. feel they need feel they need in order to have Mm -hmm. a career i guess there's like consultants that help you spruce up your linkedin sure there are colleges now if you go to like the college work yeah, there's some office that helps office, students get yeah. career office. Do they like sit down and, and I mean, I know when my son was doing stuff, they helped him with his resume or you yeah. know, they helped me with his resume. Cause honestly, he was not sitting down and writing a resume. Come on. Mm-hmm. But uh, now I bet they say, let's look at your LinkedIn profile. Have you do. added this? Have you mm-hmm. added that? Totally. Have you connected to the alumni association at your college so that you can donate periodically? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, gosh. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, now so I'm stressed. I got to go back and yeah, up now my game. You have FOMO. FOMO now too. Nicole. <laughs> yeah, I have to up my game. <laughs> this is not good. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like there's only certain industries that it's good for. Like I yeah, like probably. you know for teachers, it's not really. Yeah, um, and yeah, your son wanting to be in the medical profession. yeah I mean I like, don't know how much of that is exactly um, about networking even my daughter I mean she's uh majoring in speech language pathology so I don't know oh yeah I don't know how good for her yeah I mean she was doing IT which is what she I think that's the reason why she set it up initially but now that she's doing SLP yeah. stuff yeah probably not as um necessary yeah but again really are kids really having FOMO <laughs> <laughs> or is it the author's kid I don't know right <laughs> I don't know fear of not having gotten the right internships mm-hmm. and awards maybe 
Right. I mean, that's, that's definitely a thing that doesn't necessarily, um, Mm -hmm. do you have anything interesting to put on LinkedIn? Right. You know, I worked at the grocery store (laughs) last summer when I was home. Um, I, uh, Invested heavily in frozen yogurt over the past year. <laughs> um, yeah. I often <clears throat> interface with pizza delivery people and have studied their ways. <laughs> it's rough, man. Gosh, on top of all the co- pressure of college, you have to like be putting together a Keep good it. online resume. Don't you remember though, like, it was stressful when you're starting out, like trying to, yes. you were making phone calls. You weren't actually just putting it online. You were making, that's true. You were cold calling and that was awful. Yeah, it <laughs> that was. was mortifying. Especially <laughs> when I first moved to New York and I didn't even have a phone. Yeah. You know, like I, of course I didn't have a cell phone at that time and yeah. I, I didn't have a permanent place I was staying. I was like using pay phones. Right. Like drug right. <laughs> like, oh, right. Like, I know. So many, like these, these kids HBO don't know what it's your... like. <laughs> That's right. Man, LinkedIn is a breeze compared to what we had to do. Yes. <laughs> yes. Remember how much you lied on your first resume? It's like, I worked two days in my dad's office once. Secretarial experience. (laughs) 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 Worked behind a ice cream counter for one Christmas vacation. Food service experience. Yep. (laughs) I mean, it's not a lie. (laughs) I, let's see, see, I, 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 I edited my own papers. Editing experience. Just you know, stretching it a little bit. Um, Absolutely, yes. yeah. Everybody does it, and we can also add podcasting experience. As That's well. right. Absolutely. Well, that we legitimately do have, we and do it does that. draw the the possible. It does draw some LinkedIn attention. connections. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been going about that all wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Connect to everybody. Yeah, a giant network of people trying to gain the system. Sell you have. something. Yeah. <laughs> do not want oh well it's a good idea yeah everybody check us check us all out on linkedin there you go (laughs) don't make a make a sincere uh, i post i post our episodes on linkedin every morning so that's yet another way to get our podcast connect with us there then (laughs) that's legitimate (sighs) okay well that is it then for our LinkedIn worthy podcast episode. <laughs> We're linking out. That's right. <laughs> Link you later. Um, <laughs> that's it for today's round four. Tune in tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things that we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat.